All right. All right, right. Let's start with the class right now. It's eight o'clock already. So here we go. Hey guys, hey, Edma. Hey Mario. Good evening. Good evening. You're always on time. Los felicito siempre puntuales. You're always yes. on time. So congratulations because you're the first ones. Thank you. Coming, ya sabe, Edma, siempre vamos de los primeros en llegar, eso es, es bueno. There we go. Okay, just let me check the chat right now. All right, so Jonathan is not going to be here today. Yeah. All right, I get it. Okay, Eli, gracias por notificarme. Don't you worry. Vamos a responder. I already have, hi, Elmer. How is it going? Good. Hello. Good night. Hello, good night to you. Hi, eh, Rosa y Beth, how are you today? Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Aquí estamos ya llegando. There we go. Hello, hey. good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome back, Norma. Thank How you. was your day? ¿Qué tal su día, chicos? It was good. How about, was it a very hot day or not? Yes. Yes. Wasn't it, right? <laughs> a very and very, very hot day. Creo mm -hmm. que ahorita ya, ya siento un poco más... Eh, no elavense, a little bit cool, cooler, no, pero si sí, durante la tarde ha hecho mucho, mucho calor. Es horrible. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué será? Y no llueve. Bueno, acá donde estamos en Salvador no está lloviendo. Esperemos de que tal vez más noche se nos dé la oportunidad de que llueva, ¿ok? Sí, let me check. Si revisamos el clima, not really, cero probabilidad de lluvia. Oh, así que no, chicos, no lluvia Ay, en Salvador. Ahí estamos. Vaya, ya tenemos también a Margarita in the class. Marlon is in the class already. Hello, guys, welcome back. There we go. Let's wait just an extra minute, okay? Just one more minute so we can introduce the topic for today. You know, I was thinking about it. If you go and check the calendar, you will find out that we are about to have those days off. Vacation is coming, right? The vacation time. Ya casi viene la vacación. When is it? I guess it is the first of August, right? Just. Yes. So, we are surviving. No, todavía estamos lejos, ¿verdad? It's the 11th today. Falta. Faltan cuantas? Like two weeks. Two weeks and a half. And then we are going to have the vacation time, those days off. So think about, do you already have plans for those days off? What do you do with your family? Do you plan to go outside the country or probably to visit any place here in El Salvador? Do you already have plans? Let's start with a conversation. Sí, yo voy a escribir las respuestas. Do you already have plans? ¿Qué planes tienen para vacación? Tell me. I'm really interesting. interested to listen about that one. 
Vamos. Empecemos con esta pregunta. Speaking practice. Do you already have plans for this coming vacation? Yes. I will. I mm -hmm. will go. I will go to the beach. Oh, you will go to the beach. Excellent. What else? I have to work. You have to work. Oh, so I... no, you are going. <laughs> you're going to work. Okay. Yes. Okay, go to the beach, work. What else? ¿Qué más van a hacer? In my case, I work. Sorry. Don't you worry. Okay, go. I will go to visit my family on Chalatenango. All right. You will go and visit your family. And in your case, Rosa, what are you going to do? In my case, I don't have a question because I work. Ah, you work. So it means because you work, you said. You work. Yes, I work. Ah, so uh, you have like this period of time in which you are given 15 days in a row. Sí, a usted le dan los 15 días. 15 days in a row. Yes, in the gym. Oh, so did you already have vacation or later on? When are you going to have vacation? Yes. When? Um, depends when I... Ah, when you ask. The, uh, when you ask the, the first years. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, okay, mm -hmm. interesting. So you are going to work. How about the rest of the class? What are you going to do? How about you, Melvin? Do you already have plans for this coming vacation? No, I said I had to work. You have to work. Oh no, that's so sad. ¿Quién más? ¿A quién he escuchado? In your case, Catherine, Elmer, did you already tell me? Plans, what are your plans? Any of you guys, what are you going to do? Pensemos, ¿qué vamos a hacer? What are we going to do? In my case, I have to work. I have like just one or two days off. That it's going to be, I guess, uh, in a Friday and Saturday off. And I need to work, you know. This is for you. Hay que trabajar también. No hay la semana completa. Only one or two days off. Yes, okay. I want to do... Yeah, right? Okay. Write it down. Empecemos con escribir esto en su cuaderno. Question that you're going to be asking for... Um, let me see. Vamos a tener quizás más adelante. Not right now. Vamos a cambiar el orden. Okay? You're going to be asking this question to your classmates, but later on, not right now. So, do you already have plans for these coming vacations? Sí, esa va a ser nuestra pregunta inicial. I was listening to you and yes. You already have the idea about the topic that we are going to present today. If you see and if you go to the platform, there you're going to have the introduction to this topic. As you may see, we only have one topic that we need to cover in section number five. In this case, the topic that we are going to be presenting in today's class, it's going to be the introduction on how we are going to talk about future events. Probably you already have the idea on how we express plans or activities that we are going to do in a future time. As you may see, we are going to make a comparison. Then we are going to practice with two different structures. The use of be going to to express future plans. And also, we are going to be using this auxiliary verb, will, in order to express 
future plans or activities, yes? Okay, the first activity, well, this is going to be the second activity for this class. We are going to listen. If you go and check this video, at the beginning, we have a conversation. In this conversation, you're going to be listening about some activities that people is expressing. What are they going to do? They are having this conversation, a very similar conversation. Vacation time. ¿Qué van a hacer en estas vacaciones? De acuerdo al audio, quiero que escuchemos. Listen carefully. Anoten todas aquellas que logremos captar, ¿sí? Two, three, or four activities. Se mencionan varias y hay detalles específicos, ¿sí? Practiquemos nuestro listening a ver qué tanta información obtenemos de el audio. Are you ready? ready. Yes. Okay, here we go. Right. Recuerden, mantengamos los micrófonos eh, así como estamos ahorita, perfecto, para que puedan escuchar detenidamente. Here we go. Let's listen. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program okay. to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at okay. the end. Listen carefully. Here we go. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson okay, is learn let me how to stop talk right about here just a little bit before we continue with the explanation we are going to listen again second time remember try to write those examples write it down write the information down estamos listos segunda vez que lo escuchamos look for specific information here we go I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Here we go. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. All right, before we continue with this, 
topic, let me ask you, who is having this conversation? By any chance, do you know who is having this conversation? Yes, who is it? First question. Who is having the conversation? ¿Quién tiene la conversación? Two girls, but I don't remember the names. Next. Ah, okay. There we go, Stephanie. Probably we don't have like a specific information, but there are two girls talking about their plans. Okay, question number two. Listen. What are they planning to do? on those days off. What are they planning to do? They were mentioning a specific activity. What are they planning to do? Are they going to a specific place or not? What information? Yes, uh, the yes, Edwin. Mm -hmm. one, yes, the one girl is going to the beach with her cousin, and the another and the another girl is relaxing in her house and okay. going to watch a movie with with her friend. All right, excellent, great information, Edwin. Then they continue having this conversation and the girl who is going to the beach is making an invitation because she was being specific. What is she going to do at the beach? ¿Qué planea hacer en la playa? ¿Escucharon? ¿Alguien escuchó? Al final day. Yes, Melvin. Can you repeat that? Okay, surfing, surfing all go day. fishing. And, but who's going fishing? Is she going fishing or is she just going surfing? Her cousin. Her cousin exactly. Is. She's not going fishing. Probably this was an activity that we could uh, get from the conversation, right? But she's just planning to go surfing. There we go. Whose house is this? The house at the beach. Whose house is this? Cousin, the uncle. Uncle. Uncle and? Um, and cousin. Uncle and cousin? Yes. Mencionó alguien más, creo yo. Le decía, let me call my uncle and tonight to let them know del tío y de la tía, ¿sí? De los tíos, ¿será que he mencionado a la tía también? Did you get that part? Okay, so there we go. Esther is speaking. Probably you already have that information. Si se fijan, este ya varios lo completaron y decía preguntas bien similares. Where are the girls going to stay? At the beginning of the conversation, we were listening about this part. ¿Dónde van a quedarse? ¿A la hotel? Dijimos que no, ya sabemos en dónde se van a quedar clases. A, B, or C. B. B, right? ¿A qué se refiere cuando dice relative? ¿A quiénes le llamamos relatives? Who are the relatives? If we are referring to members of the family. ¿Qué es un relative? Mm -hmm. Relative. ¿Cómo traducimos entonces relative? What is a relative? Father and mother. Mm, not really. Father plus mom, parents, okay, yes. relatives, parents. Ajá. papá y mamá juntos, parents, 
Pero relatives son los, podemos llamarle a los familiares. En este caso no es eh, algo en específico, es una categoría en donde entran. Podría Como ser parientes. parientes, parientes, me encanta esa traducción. Parientes, ¿sí? Tío, tía, primos, sobrinos, ellos son mis relatives, mis parientes. Julia, ¿por qué les decía si bien escuchado el nombre? Porque sí, menciona el nombre de las chicas en este caso. Julia es la chica que tenía planes ya, ¿sí? The second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? The first. She's first going one, to go. exactly. She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Y si se fijan, singular o plural. En este caso, si era uno. Tratemos de tener esta información. What my Julia do with her cousin? En sí, si se fijan, no estaba mencionando la actividad. ¿Sí? Pero ¿qué podría Julia hacer con su, with her cousin? What my Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Sí, se daba a entender que iban a hacer esa actividad. I am booked. ¿Saben de qué o a qué se refiere este verbo? El verbo book. E incluso en pasado, booked. Book, booking. Ese es un verbo. Como nombre es libro. Y como verbo, ¿a qué se refiere? El verbo book. Reservada. Ah, ok. Reservada. ¿Qué acción hacemos en un hotel? ¿Qué acción hacemos? Reserva. Ajá. A reservation. I am booked for this weekend. I'm booked. booked. Sí, o sea, tiene ya agendado plan para I'm todo, todos los días de la this semana. This weekend. Sí. Todos los días de semana, not really, para el fin de semana. Tengo agendado actividades para este fin de semana. Entonces, I'm booked. Pueden ustedes utilizar también este verbo. Sí, si ya tienen planes para toda la semana, I am booked. For this week or for this weekend. So I will go camping. I am going to go camping. I am out to go camping. Which is the correct I'm going, one? I'm going to go camping. Okay. What should you say if you are unsure? Si no estamos seguros. Unsure. Maybe I will leave. Maybe, me encanta. Maybe es Maybe. una introducción a algo que no es. Bien. Revisemos si nos queda bien ese ejercicio. Ahí está, muy bien. Ok. Entonces presentemos el tema de ahora, pero antes, let me check the attendance list. ¿Quién está en la clase ahora? Here we go, Ana Yamile Fernández Martínez. Ana Yamile Hernández. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. Cristina Claribel. Ana Yamile está escrito en Zoom. Dice que está de turno. Pero está en la clase. ¿Está acá? Mm. Ana, ah, en Zoom, ah, sí, 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 en Zoom, sí, pensé que en WhatsApp. Sí. Vale, perfecto, gracias. Cristina Claribel. Ahí está, muy bien, Cristina. Thank you. Dayana Abigail. Dayana Abigail. Edma Salia Marina Peña. Present, sure. Okay, great job, Edwin Alexander Hercules. Present teacher. Thank you, Eli Antonio Sandoval. Present. Okay, Eli, excellent. Georgina Beatriz Perez. Present. Okay, Georgina, thank you, Elmer Antonio Landa Verde. Uh, but he was here, right? I guess. 
Yo creo que le escribió en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Se me vienen a revisar. Yes, yes. Tiene problemas Is he de right? conexión. Ok. But he was here. Jeffrey Mauricio Guzmán. Jeffrey Mauricio. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Present teacher. Ok, Jennifer, Jonathan Alexander Molina. She's not coming today, I guess. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Laura Concepción Mena. Ok, there she is. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. I guess she was here. Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present. Ok, Margarita Mario Eduardo Sura. Present. Ok, Mario Marlon Edenilson Pérez. Present. Perfect. Melvin Gerardo Canales. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Norma Elizabeth Calleja. Present. All right. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Rosa Ives Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Silvia Lizette Melara. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. And Stephanie Jamilet Perez. Present. All right, excellent. So the ones who are missing today, Jonathan, Alexander, Jeffrey, and Dayana. Ahí estamos ya. Presentemos entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre ambas estructuras? Si se fijan, estábamos viendo al inicio la pregunta, do you already have plans for this coming vacations? Cuando hablamos de esa palabra en específico, plans, planes. Es una estructura en específico la que vamos a usar. But first, take a look at the questions that I have here. In this case, if we take a look at the examples that we have here, what do they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común todas estas preguntas? From number one to number eight. What do they have in common? What Don't time work. are you? El, exactly. Going to. See, I have two type of questions. Todas llevan el going to, perfect. Tengo dos tipos de preguntas, ¿cuáles son? Let's identify those questions. Les ayudo con la primera opción. I have a group of questions that have these words at the beginning. How are we going to call this group of questions or these questions? ¿Quién se acuerda cómo se llaman esas preguntas? The ones. W questions. Ajá, muy bien. ¿Qué dicen con las WH words? And as you may see, I have some other questions like question number eight. That at the beginning they have the verb to be. How do we call these questions? ¿Cómo se llama este tipo de preguntas? The ones that are going to have the verb to be at the beginning. Yes or no questions. Exactly. The yes, no, yes or no questions. The ones that have the verb to be at the beginning. Entonces, como introducción, podemos ver eso. If we are going to express ideas with the use of going to, we can have two types of questions. The information questions, or we can also have those questions that we call the yes, no question. Ya vamos a ver este ejercicio. So, ¿cuál es entonces la diferencia de going to? And the difference between will. Presentemos esto. Tal vez no nos queda tiempo para ambas estructuras ahora, pero todavía mañana y el jueves tenemos clase. The future with the going to, with going to. As you may see, we are always going to use this expression together. Siempre va junta. El going y el to, they are always together. 
Yes, yeah? so what is the structure? If you see, if we want to express statements, if you want to form questions, or even if you want to form negative statements, what are we going to do? The same structure, going to. So how do we make any statement? In this case, we have examples of affirmative and also negative statements. What is the correct order? We are going to have at the beginning, it can be a pronoun as a subject. We can also have names and they are going to act as subjects. Sí, el sujeto puede ser un pronombre o un nombre. Eso es muy importante. Look. The correct use of the correct uh the correct use of the form of the verb to be. Si no lo uso correctamente desde ahí, mi oración estaría incorrecta. ¿sí? The only one that is going to use this form of the verb to be am the first person, I. Recuerden la tercera persona, he, she, and it. They are all uh, going to use the correct form. In this case, is. Y el resto que le llamamos los pronombres que muchas veces incluso expresan plural. Todos ellos ocupan una forma del verb to be that is going to be are. So am, is, and are. Going to. Going. Será que expresa entonces una acción progresiva, pero en el futuro? Probably, right? Ese es el sentido que le da el going. An action that we are going to do. Algo que va a suceder en el futuro. Ya no es un presente progresivo in this case. We are expressing future actions. Y como termina con esta partícula, el to, inmediatamente necesitamos redactar un verbo in the based form. No podemos agregar nada, no puede ser progresivo. Si no, se queda en su forma base. En teacher, ¿será que para la tercera persona vamos a conjugar entonces el verbo? Not really. Cuando conjugamos el verbo con es, eso es cuando estamos hablando del presente. Presente simple. En este caso es otra estructura, es el futuro. We are not going to have a difference whenever we have the third person. El verbo para todos los sujetos permanece igual. ¿sí? ¿Por qué será entonces que no lo puedo modificar con la tercera persona? Uno porque ya usamos una expresión auxiliar. En este caso, el going to. Esto ya no me permite modificar verbos. No importa si es la tercera persona, primera persona u otra. Yes, so, going to and even the negative form, not going to. No me permite que el verbo se modifique. Yes. Ok, so in this case, Going to, going to. Whenever we talk about the use of going to, as the examples that we have right here, it's because we already have plans. Una de las diferencias entre will and going to, es que cuando hablo de going to, con anticipación he hecho planes. No son acciones en el momento o decisiones que se toman just right at the moment. Not really. We go back in time. We think about the process that we need to follow in order to accomplish those activities. Siempre que hablemos de going to, son acciones planificadas. No puedo usar going to si tomo una decisión en el momento. Not really. ¿Sí? Muchas veces dicen es que es, es un futuro cercano. 
probably, right? Probablemente cercano, pero no es esa la diferencia. The main difference is that whenever we use going to, it's because we have already planned those actions. Quédense con eso. Ya planificamos las acciones. Se fijan al inicio de la clase, algunos no tenían planes para vacación. Probablemente en el momento exacto o el día exacto de iniciar la vacación, ahí van a decidir qué hacer. In that case, you are going to use a different structure. El uso de will. Pero acá como hablamos de planificación previa de actividades, es donde ustedes van a usar el going to. Vale. Primero, eight different questions. Revisemos las preguntas para que practiquen con sus compañeros. Number one. What are you going? No, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? Number two. What time are you going to get up tomorrow? What are you going to do after class? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Where are you going to go on the weekend? How much money are you going to spend tomorrow? Number seven, who are you going to talk to tomorrow? And the last one, are you going to travel to another country this year? ¿Qué palabras ven que subrayé? ¿Qué me expresan esas palabras? Tonight, tomorrow, after class. When. Future, mm -hmm. right? Sí. Entonces, la combinación de going to siempre también va acompañado de expresiones que indican futuro. ¿Por qué? Porque going to, esta estructura, también se usa para hablar del presente. Entonces, para diferenciarlo entre una actividad futura, I need to use expressions like tonight, tomorrow, after class, on the weekend, this year, complemento mi idea, mi pregunta, con una expresión de futuro. Porque puedo redactar la misma idea para preguntar sobre el presente. ¿Sí? Entonces, para que se distinga, hago este agregado de palabras que indican el futuro. ¿Yes? Vale, vamos a ir a practicar con sus compañeros eight different questions. Hasta donde ustedes alcancen a preguntar, hasta ahí vamos a parar en cinco minutos. Let me do the same. You know, yesterday I had the breakup rooms, the open breakup rooms. Quiero que se muevan en diferentes salas, no solo se queden con el mismo grupo, ¿sí? Vayan, practiquen con sus classmates. Si no pueden ingresar a la sala, you can stay here. Traten de ir a obtener esta información con sus classmates. Questions about this activity. Is it clear what you're going to do? ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? Yes. yes. Speak in practice. Write the information about your classmates. Here we go, guys. Five minutes so you can go, say hi to your classmates, and exchange, interchange information. Salas abiertas para que puedan moverse de una a otra. ¿sí? No se queden con el mismo grupo. Busquen a varios compañeros. La idea es crear ocho respuestas. Here we go. Voy a crear, let me see, seis salas para que se muevan en diferentes salas. Here we go. Vamos clase. Ustedes busquen una de las salas y consulten a sus compañeros. Here we go. Recuerden, pueden moverse de una sala a otra. Para no quedarse en un mismo grupo. There we go. Speak and practice. You can do it, class. I'm going to be there. Great job.
Vamos, los que puedan empezar a intercambiar información, vamos. Let's do it. Speak in practice. Read one of the questions and then your classmates are going to give you the information. Go, oh, please. Do it. Hello, guys. Okay, the first question is what Hello. time? Okay, the first the first question is what time are you going to go to the bed tonight? Um, I am going to go to the bed at seven p.m. At 7 p.m. But what time is it? Remember, this is a future plan. So it cannot be at 7. Uh, at night. I am at, at night. Okay, after the class. Excellent. So, excellent <laughs> job. Después. ¿Estaría bien así en going to watch TV? Sí. Como estoy diciendo que voy a ver televisión. Sí. I'm going to watch TV after class. Uh, I'm going to work on my laptop after class. I listen to music after class. Okay. Okay. Bye. What are you going to do tomorrow? Mommy, hi. I'm going. I'm going. Sería going to do tomorrow. Mm. I'm in the house. ¿Cómo sería ahí? I'm going to do tomorrow mm -hmm. morning. In the sí, morning. Va. No sería I'm going to do in the morning. ¿Qué sí, es lo que va a hacer en la mañana? Ajá, in, okay. uh -huh, in the morning. Es que sería, wow. ¿qué vas a estar haciendo, verdad? Tú, mañana en la mañana. Mañana en la mañana. Eh, sería, no se puede, eh, in the morning, I'm going, going to, uh, to work. I'm going to clean the house in the morning. ¿O cómo? Es que ahí me he confundido yo, ¿cómo quedaría la respuesta? Lo voy a buscar, pero no sé. Quiero ver. I'm going to clean the house. In the morning. Sí, porque no es necesario repetir el todo otra vez, ¿verdad? Vengo. Mm -hmm. Ok, Vengo. Norma, I was listening to you. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. No. En este Sería... caso, no necesitamos repetir to you, no. Sino ah, ya ser específico, okay. porque cuando me dicen qué vas a hacer, una pregunta en general, ah. la información es específica. I am going to work. Ah. I am going to ah. Clean my house. Okay. I am going to sleep. Because you're giving is specific. Ah, okay. Just like that. Okay. Yeah. Ese, ese era mi duda. Ah, pues sí, sería, I'm going to clean my house. Okay. Okay. I'm going to work. Okay. Vaya la otra sería. Yo creo que les preguntamos todo. De Stephanie. Do any question? Marlon. Yes. Marlon, how much money are you going to spend tomorrow? No. I don't know. I hope I'm, I'm going to spend. Um, Five dollars. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Stephanie, what time are you going to go to the bed tonight? Uh, tonight, I'm, I'm going to the bed at 1 a.m. Wow, very late. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because I have to study and I need to finish some homework. 
know some chap no, chapters of Netflix. <laughs> and so you are very busy. Yeah. Very good plans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, see, yeah, you can tell it. Hi. Hi, do you want to to do in some question? Si, do you want to ask some question? Oh, answer. Ah, uh, okay. Um, where are you going to go on the weekend? Uh -huh. And you, Marlon, you can answer. answer. Uh, okay. And um, what, what's the question? On weekend, right now. Yes. And we can. I don't know what to, I'm gonna do. I. Mm, I hope I. I think I'm gonna go for some tacos. I hope so. Delicious. <laughs> and Silvia, who are you going to talk tomorrow? The question number seven. Um, who are you going to talk tomorrow? Um, I'm going to talk. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay. Yes. 6 a.m. Okay. Yeah. In my case, oh. I am going to get up at 5 a.m. 5. Yeah, okay. Why I am. okay. Okay, the third question. What are you going to after class? What are you going to do after class? Yes, what are you going to do after class? Class. Um I I going to I going to eat. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, for example, I'm going to eat. Uh huh. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> and you? Uh, in my case, probably uh, I'm going to check my Facebook. <laughs> okay, okay, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, um, the four question is what are you going to do tomorrow morning? In what in the morning. More, what are you going tomorrow to do morning. tomorrow morning? Morning. Mm -hmm. Morning. Is in the morning. Sería in the morning. La forma correcta o así está bien. No, that's okay. Tomorrow morning. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. You can ah, use okay. that expression. Re recuerden okay. que en inglés yeah. amamos eh, hacer eh, preguntas o expresiones cortas. Sí. Entre menos palabras, mejor. That's okay. okay. Tomorrow morning, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. What are you going to do? Yes. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Mm, I'm going to... I'm going to work. Okay. Yeah, I... Okay, let me bring your classmates back. Vamos a revisar el ejercicio. Here we go. So, great job, guys. Vamos a revisar el ejercicio in this case. Take a look at this. Okay, here we are. So, you know, guys, I was I was listening to you. And yes, you already have the idea about the structure. Todos usaron bien la estructura. I am going to. I am going to. 
in this case, none of you expressed a negative statement. Creo que nadie ocupó el negativo. I am not going to. Todos ocuparon afirmativo. I am going to. Pero, ¿cómo redactó una respuesta? Listen, pongamos algunos tips para saber cómo dar respuesta. In this case, we have the questions. But how are we going to make sure that my reply is the correct one? Si se fijan, una de las características de las WH questions. ¿Qué pasa con las WH questions? Es una pregunta muy en general. ¿Qué me están preguntando? What are you going to... No, what time? Aquí sí, bien. ¿A qué hora? Sí, entonces abarca un rango enorme de horas. Probablemente me voy a la una de la mañana, dos, tres. No duermo incluso. So, what time are you going to go to bed? Paso número uno, identificar que me consultan. What time? Dos, ¿qué le o cuál es la información en específico que necesitan de mí? Go to bed, porque en base a ese verbo, o a esa expresión, así doy respuesta. Number one, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? ¿Quién tiene esa respuesta? ¿Quién obtuvo la respuesta? Ok, Luz. I'm going, yes. I am going to go to bed at 11 p.m. All right. ¿Ya vieron qué información ocupé? I am going... La estructura va a ser la misma de la pregunta. I am going to go to bed. ¿Cómo complemento mi idea? Con mi información personal. At. Uh, what time did you say, Luz? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? 11 p.m. At 11, wow. At 11. Mm, pero a veces cuando hablamos de horas, no podemos ser específicos. A las 11 en punto, a esa hora, me tiro a la cama y ya me duermo. No, ¿verdad? Es una hora. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos para no mentir? Que a las 11 en punto, no que mintamos, sino que no damos una información específica. Miren, ocupemos esto. Cuando hablamos de tiempo, no es exacto. Around 11 p.m. Bien. Exactamente. Uh, around. Ah, in this case, no. At around, no. Solo quitamos el at. Porque at es una hora específica. Around abarca muchas. Around. Number two. No todas las vamos a analizar así por el tiempo. Pero veamos la dos. ¿Qué me preguntan? Tiempo. ¿Sobre qué actividad? Quiera. Sí, ese es el verbo. Entonces, mi respuesta yeah. debe llevar la expresión get out y get mi out. información personal, que es el tiempo. What time are you going to get up tomorrow? ¿Quién quiere I'm probar con esta? Who wants to try? I'm going to get up by a.m. Ok. Me gusta que ocupó la forma corta. I'm going to. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Get up. Yeah. Ah, ¿A qué hora se va a levantar? Five. At five. Después de tres at, alarmas. Entonces, at five. Segurísima, Erma. Yo, yo despierto la alarma, teacher. Oh, wow. ¿Cómo lo hace? Deme la clave. Pero si son las 4.59, no, cierro los ojos otra vez a las 5. Cuatro minutos. Ok, so, ahí así es exacto. So, at 5 a.m. Wow, interesting. Siguiente, ¿qué pregunta o qué información necesitan? Como es una WH question, solo me dice what. Si se fijan, es una expresión ¿Qué? muy amplia. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Es el verbo do. ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do? Pues, claro. Y cuando me dicen do, aquí puedo ocupar cualquier verbo. I'm going to work, to sleep, I'm going to eat, to clean the house, 
Por eso es que yo no tengo la respuesta aquí. Tiene la respuesta es a quien yo le estoy consultando. El what uy, es una expresión muy, muy amplia. Por eso aquí la respuesta puede variar. Yes. Edwin, what are you going to do after class? I'm not going to go to the parish. <laughs> oh, because you're a good boy. So I am yeah. not. Say yes, I am teacher. <laughs> I am not going to go to a party, pongamos. Okay. Because he is going to practice his English and do the homework, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, of course, teacher. Of course, <laughs> as I always do this. <laughs> wow, imagínense, tenemos una respuesta negativa, un statement negativo. Podemos hacerla incluso más cortita. I'm not. I'm not I'm going, going to go to not the going to... Podemos agregar más complementos, claro. Sean creativos. Be creative. Now, vamos con la número cuatro. ¿Qué me están consultando en number four? Lo mismo. El what. Muy amplia la pregunta. Otra vez el do. do. ¿Cuándo? Tomorrow morning. ¿Qué van a hacer en la mañana? Go class. ¿Qué le preguntamos a un volunteer? Go, 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 go. Practice. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Me, teacher. Go, please. Let me listen to you. I'm going to clean the house. I am going to clean the house. Great job. I am going to clean the house. Y podrían complementarla. I am going to clean the house tomorrow morning. Okay, pero si no, perfecto, se quedan hasta ahí. I am going to clean the house. Number five. Where. Me pregunta sobre un lugar. ¿Qué idea o qué verbo ocupan? El verbo go. Where are you going to go? Sí, si se fijan, sí, es válido esta combinación, el going y el go. ¿Por qué? Porque esta frase es una frase fija o esta expresión se puede ocupar con cualquiera de los verbos, menos el verbo to be, claro, porque el verbo to be lo tenemos aquí al inicio. So, going to... Go, es válido oh. esa combinación, sí, porque es un verbo, acá actúa como un verbo, go, y acá como un verbo auxiliar, going to, go. So, where are you going to go on the weekend? Who got this answer? ¿Quién puede responder eso? Number five. I'm going to go at the cinema exactly. on Saturday. Very good job. I'm going to... Go. I am going to go to the cinema. On Saturday. Ah, and you were being specific. Cuando dice the weekend, as we refer to Saturday and Sunday, we can be specific. Oh, on Saturday, on Sunday. We can have those ideas. Number six. Para finalizar, dos más para no eh, robarnos tanto el tiempo. How much? ¿Qué? Información debo brindar. Si me dicen how much. Ah, incluso how much money. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto dinero? ¿Cuánto dinero? Una cantidad, ¿verdad? Una cantidad de dinero. An amount of money. ¿Cuál es el verbo que me piden usar? Spend. Spend. How much money are you going to spend tomorrow? In my case, if I stay home, I'm not going to spend money. But if I go out, I'm not sure. So, <laughs> tell me about your information. How much please. money? Yes. Go, oh, please. I'm going to spend $10. You're going to spend $10? Okay. ¿Y qué si no estoy... Eh, seguro de cuánto voy a gastar clase cómo haríamos uh, para... I'm going to around ah ok me gusta I'm esa expresión around. around I will I will ok pero saben que will no lo podemos ocupar acá porque 
will sería en el momento, digamos yo estoy en Dollar oh. City y en el momento digo yo voy a gastar 20 dólares, este es mi presupuesto, oh. will es una decisión en el momento, oh, okay. pero going to desde ya, una noche antes, hago mi presupuesto, lo que podemos hacer es I am planning to spend, estoy planeando, Fijan, el verbo también ven progresivo. Estoy planeando. I am planning to spend. I am going to spend ten dollars, five dollars. Yes. Ok, la siete. Who are you going to talk to tomorrow? Es una expresión, una pregunta muy amplia. Imagine, ¿con quién vas a hablar mañana? Wow. In my case, I talk to a lot of people during the day. <laughs> So, I'm not sure. Creo que debería ser un poco más específica la pregunta. Tomorrow morning or tomorrow before going to bed. ¿Sí? Antes de ir a la cama. Algo específico porque acá es una categoría muy amplia, ¿verdad? En number eight. ¿Cómo respondemos mi ejemplo del verbo to be? Recuerden que esta es una yes no question. Are you going to travel to another country this year? ¿Cómo respondemos la última? No, I'm going to travel. Going. Muy bien. No, I'm not going to travel. Yes, I am going to travel. Y si es afirmativa, puedo agregar el detalle de a dónde voy. Yes, I'm going to travel to Colombia, Colombia. to United States. Yes. No, around I'm going, the world. I'm going to travel around the world. Yes. Sí, ¿Y por qué ocupamos going to? Tal vez ya estamos planificando qué países voy a visitar. Entonces, como es una planificación, going to. Clase. Quiero que recuerden eso. Going to. Estructura que se usa para actividades planificadas. Mañana vemos el uso de will, porque ahí sí hay un desglose de actividades. Eh, acciones cuando yo voy a ocupar will. So let's stop the class here. Thank you so much for coming and for participating. We are going to continue tomorrow, okay? Have a good night class. See you. Thank you. Good good night. Night. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. See you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night to you. Bye.